stuck in your corporate career or feeling like you are just slowly moving up the ranks one step at a time, I think there is a better way to deal with it. There is a faster way to deal with it and it's called um, entrepreneurship. I didn't say entrepreneurship, I said intrapreneurship, which is different, right? So the idea of entrepreneurship is bringing the principles of entrepreneurship into the corporate space. The idea that you can be able to spot opportunities for new products and services. So basically being an entrepreneur in the confines of a corporate environment. If this is interesting to you, let's talk about it. Now I can almost hear the groan, right? The idea is, I just want to come in and do my job and go home. Why do I need to add more responsibilities to my already full plate? Mm -hmm. Now all I can say to that is there are compelling reasons for why entrepreneurship accelerates your career. Now after I talk to you about those reasons, I, I will also share with you examples, real life examples, or people whose careers have been accelerated by being essentially entrepreneurs in a corporate environment. Ready? Let's go. One of the ways that entrepreneurship positively affects your career is skills enhancement. The ideas around sort of problem solving, creativity, all those skills are skills that are usable no matter where you are in the corporate career. Now, let's be honest, you have two candidates. They're all both very good. One candidate comes in and talks about how he's met every single KPI he's been given and how he does a great job. Then the second candidate comes in and talks about all the KPIs he hit, but he also talks about how he was able to spot an opportunity for a new service within his organization, how he was able to talk to people across departments, put a presentation together, was able to convince management to put money behind it, and then he's able to tell you, look, this project, I, I helped bring this project live, and this is how this project added to the revenue of the company. Which of these candidates is a more interesting candidate? Now let's talk about job security. Now we know job security is a myth, it's a fallacy. The real safety net for corporate career is innovation, creativity, and problem solving. Let's talk about the real life examples of people who use entrepreneurship to accelerate their careers. Spencer Silva and Art Fryer were both two employees at 3M. They were working on developing a really strong adhesive. And one of the byproducts of that was what has now become the one of the world's most iconic office supplies, the stick it note. And that led to these two people having an amazing career at 3M and also just becoming legends. Ken Kutaragri is often called the father of the PlayStation. Why? When he was an employee at Sony Corporation, he was able to identify the need for Sony to go into the gaming space and saw the opportunity that he was able to convince his employers to enter the gaming industry and then became the CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment. Let's talk about Paul Uget at Google. So Paul started Gmail as a side project and the development of that project led to one of the world's most useful and iconic email platforms. Paul went from there to start FriendFeed, which he then later sold to Facebook. By engaging in corporate entrepreneurship, you position yourself as a proactive, solution-oriented team member you, who adds significant value to the organization that he's in. This does not only make you marketable, and it also opens opportunities for you where people who are following a more traditional career path might not have access to. Now here's the kicker. Corporate entrepreneurship could be the thing that teaches you to become an entrepreneur. Let me give you an example. Julia Hartz, before co-founding Eventbrite, was a television development executive at MTV. Now, in that job, she was able to understand event marketing and the nuances in it, and she brought that into her job at Eventbrite. The most iconic of these stories is the one about Matt Benoff and how he moved from Oracle to Salesforce. His experience in enterprise software allowed him to revolutionize CRMs within the cloud computing platforms. Now, I bet you an executive who was at Oracle at the time would have wished that Mark had built the product in-house and then it had been spun off as an Oracle product. Corporate in entrepreneurship allows you to gain valuable insights if you are going to go into an entrepreneurial career. It allows you to gain resources, it allows you to gain networks, it allows you to gain experience that is used to launch highly successful startups. Entrepreneurship could be the bridge between your corporate career and your entrepreneurial career. Now stick around to the very end of this video. I want to challenge you with the one question you need to be asking yourself if you want to become 
intrapreneurial in your corporate job. But before that, let's talk about the mindset required for you to become an entrepreneurial in your corporate job. Number one, be open to innovation. Be open to new ideas. Instead of this is how we've always done things, ask what if we did it this other way? Risk tolerance. You have to understand that in the corporate environment and politics, you must learn how to calculate the risk in every entrepreneurial venture that you're pitching. Otherwise, it may adversely affect your career. Strategic alignment. Understanding exactly where the company wants to go, understanding what their strategy is and where they're headed, will allow you to see problem spaces and allow you to pitch products, services, and ideas to management in a way that will gain acceptance. If you're going to make headway as a corporate entrepreneur you're going to have to think beyond one project for one specific department you're going to have to think cross departments you are going to have to think cross-functional that multidisciplinary approach will ensure that you will be able to see more gaps and opportunities within your organization emotional intelligence look navigating corporate politics has never been easy and so you're going to have to learn how to sell your ideas and to navigate the politics of doing that for your ideas to gain traction. Strong networking skills. Your ability to strongly network will get your ideas greenlit and will get other departments working with you to make it happen. Scalability and focus. Every time you have an idea or you spot a gap, think about how it scales beyond your single department or your single role. Financial acumen. Understand the return on investment in projects. Learn how to read the numbers. Learn how to speak the numbers, which is critical when you are pitching your ideas to executives and stakeholders. And lastly, self-motivation. You should be able to keep yourself going even when projects are not greenlit. All right, as promised, here's the one question you should be asking yourself if you want to go into corporate entrepreneurship. What is the one problem in your organization? If solved, could create exponential value. Now, take a moment to think about this. Now, that question will lead you to be able to see and spot opportunities that you haven't been able to before and set you on the path to meaningful career expansion using entrepreneurship.